It is a beautiful morning here in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Welcome to Vietnam, everybody. This is the largest city in this country, and we are going for a beautiful drive. The scenery is fantastic. It actually looks much better in real life than on camera. But you can see the city is just waking up and everybody heading off to work and setting up their shop for business. Today, we can get our motorbike checked and then head to a cafe and perhaps take you guys out for a nice little dinner to see the vibe in Saigon, Vietnam. Enjoy and let's go get it. There's a lot of Japanese book here. I wonder why, or is it Chinese? And even over here, they have magazines. Check it out. Cosplay. Interesting. And look at that. This look like a Vietnamese magazine. All right, we'll take one. And nice plants. I love it. These will make your house more breathable. They uh, take in CO2 and uh, they give out oxygen. There's like six pots of plants here, which is very nice. Lots of comic books as well. Very nice cup of water. There's pandan leaves in here. So the flavor is very special, refreshing, and smells great. All right, cheers. So I decided to get the salted coffee, which is one of Vietnam's favorite coffee right now. And this is vanilla latte. It looks very nice, triple layered. And at the bottom, they got like a little bit of tea or honey color. Vanilla, vanilla syrup. Oh, uh, vanilla syrup. And the water is very special too. It's pandan leaf flavored. Very refreshing, smells great. Oh my God, where is my phone? And look at the straw they use. find some food. As you can see, they have a lot of different plants here to freshen up the air. Oxygen, AC is very nice. Wonderful shop. Even the parking is very nice. There's a roof over the parking lot so that when you get out, your car will not get wet by the rain or hot by the sun. For those of you guys who live in Vietnam, you'll know that when you park your bike outside, the seat gets really hot under the sun. So this is very nice. You have a nice ramp here. You go up and you park in this lot. There's a security guard here. Two of them actually watching your bike. And on top there's a roof that will protect your vehicle from the rain and the sun. So I do highly recommend this place. There's even a place where you can put your helmet and there's an umbrella here. And outside there are seatings as well. If you guys want to enjoy the fresh air of outdoor Vietnam, you can sit outside. So this is the business card for the location. If you guys want to support them, come to District 3. All right, now we're heading off and grabbing some food before our bike is uh, completed with maintenance. We'll go we'll pick it up. Beautiful day. Let's get going. Okay, and then. We just put in an order, so while we're waiting, we're gonna try the dish they left on the table for us. This is 10k, roughly 50 cents. And basically, you get uh, some salad, and then you get salmon skin. Mm. 
Thank you. So if you come here often, you can buy a bottle and then leave it here for next time. That's the people's names that have reserved their bottles for next time. Here are new bottles, Western and Asian whiskey and drinks. All right guys, so there we go. Our first dish is chicken karage. Uh, this is not just regular chicken, it's very crunchy because it has cartilage in it. All right guys, our noodle is coming. Alright guys, so our next dish is up and it's the chicken ramen, 78,000 which is around $3, Ooh, amazing, $3 for a nice big bowl of ramen. Way cheaper than ramen bowl, you know? So this street is full of different Japanese shops and restaurants. A great place for you to explore Japanese culture. Beautiful bars too. Very nice. On this side of the alley is very peaceful. So you don't have to travel all the way to Japan to experience Japanese life. Right here in the Harvest Saigon District 1, you can go to Taiwan Lum. This is a beautiful area, lots of shops, bars, as well as rooms where you can rent and stay long term. And the best thing is, the price is quite cheap. In the morning, this place is very peaceful and a lot of restaurants are open here. If you want to try really good Japanese food, this is definitely the place. However, at night, you see these beautiful neon lights and different really cute names for all these Japanese bars. You go inside, have a nice drink, and perhaps find some good company here. That is not to say they don't have Vietnamese food here because there's a little shop over here called Wang Gom Gonam. You can also buy a lot of uh, Vietnamese food, locally made, and a lot of different coffee shops, as well as these rooms where you can rent. They're like service apartments. Look at all these beautiful plants very peaceful and safe because this place is 24 hour security camera all year round. So if you live in here, definitely it's gonna be very safe for you. Beautiful. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't know this is Vietnam, right? It looks very Japanese from this corner. 
beautiful lanterns. This place is basically little Japan in the heart of Saigon. There's a cute little cafe here where you can buy uh, fresh juice. So this place is known for Japanese cuisine as well as Vietnamese food. The price is reasonable. It's not too high, but it is a little bit higher than other restaurants in Vietnam. But as you can see, the price ranges from four, five dollars. Today is actually a especially quiet day. To be honest, usually this place is packed with people. Not sure why, but today is a weekend, but it's relatively quiet. I love taking a walk here, especially in the morning. You can see all the beautiful Japanese art and the style of Japanese really resonate here. One beautiful thing about this place is all the beautiful lanterns that you see ahead of you. Nothing like it, guys. And see, people love getting the cameras out for this reason. Look at this beautiful special decorations that you're not going to find anywhere else. Very romantic and dreamy. And that's why couples love hanging out here, go to eat, have a drink at a cafe, and take some video. This is the entry, 8A Tai Lung. And this is how you know to find the Japanese area of Japantown in Vietnam. Alright guys, there's a lot of beautiful cafes out here as well as shops, restaurants, convenience shops and as well as bars. These are western style bars that you can have a drink and chill out with your friends. Five Ku, definitely a popular one. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. Hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out from Japantown in Saigon.